Did my arm regenerate from the milk? Yes, my arm did regenerate from milk. You see this a Minecraft video in a Minecraft world about Minecraft mood about that actually. More specifically, primordium weapons. Primordium weapons? Yeah. Read the actual mod information that it gives you. Obviously enough, sometimes you need to install certain things, such as Gekulet. Also, Epic Fight is something I have installed as well. Point is, it's a mod that gives you epic weapons, some anime weapons, such as Rito, and uh, some generally cool weapons, and probably a lot. Actually, basically, most of these are anime weapons, but some of them I don't know. We'll get to the cooler ones later. When it comes to simple things, we have a Shuriken. Look at that, an infinite Shuriken. Wow, it actually does reflect onto me because the warden has some resistance or something. I don't know, but yeah, this is a Shuriken. It's an infinite one at that. This is a mega Shuriken. It actually does 15 damage, and it's also infinite. A few minutes later okay quickly before some ridiculous this stupid happens uh, throw it's infinite good to confirm infinite projectiles nothing incredible so what of the different weapons do actually give you certain buffs not all of them i understand some of them i do understand as a reference but not what they actually do like warhammer gives you speed 2 hero of the village resistance 3 and fire resistance 2 i have no idea whatsoever why it does that but hey it does 30 damage it does use the basic and i'm also rather confident that every single weapon uses the basic fighting style we'll see whether there is one i'm missing but yeah the actual movement speed is stupidly slow it's only ironically faster to do this oh, it actually has some, some effects whenever you do that mm. boom next so, though the battle stuff upgraded version Whoa, what did I just do? Once again, Hero of the Village, Speed 2, yeah, these are the basic weapons. Oh, and this, we, even without Epic Fight, it seems like there's some animations that I don't know what they're from. Yeah, I don't know, it works with Epic Fight, I'm just not definitely not certain where this is the one you should be adding to. It looks cool though with certain weapons, but not with all of them. Anyway, I don't think that's, that's not from the weapon, this jump. Yeah, this, this is from another mod, don't worry about it. I thought it was from the weapon, but no. Doom Gauntlets, okay. And it gives me primordial power, okay. And in first person, Doom Fist Barrage. Okay, that's cool. Now Doom Fist again. Oh, I shoot it? It's a long ranged weapon? Yeah, it actually is, and it does 60 damage, wow. Huh. Uh, I don't know, get, I don't get this reference, by the way, the Doom Gauntlets. Feel free to tell me in the comment section about every weapon I don't get, and once again, there's a bunch of them. Now, the next one, the Executioner's Sword. And this little needle might not seem too impressive. And when it says damage, it says 3 damage. But, now this one works well with Epic Fight because it genuinely doesn't matter. As long as you get the hit, you win. And it's uh, also a sword, so it's actually fitting for this fighting style. So this one definitely works. So here is the special testing dummy, Trash. Wow, it doesn't one-shot Trash. But it can beat him, so that's actually incredibly impressive, all things considered. It doesn't give you any special boosts, though. It's just that ridiculously powerful. Execute a fair name. I don't get the Vortex Vanquisher or the Executioner Sword. Are there references? Probably. Don't get them. Yeah, definitely them in the comments. Okay, Warden, you're my favorite testing dummy because you have just enough health to be relevant as a testing dummy now primordium power speed to hero and resistance 4 but it is so uh, familiar probably would have seen this whatever it is from but i can't remember right now doesn't do any same amount of damage right click doesn't have any special powers what do you do uh doesn't say anything special when i say that but what's primordial power do? genuinely have no clue now ashcroft true form definitely haven't seen this sword before so i'm fine with it it's cool whoa lost an arm i lost the arm limbs too but this is jutsu kaisen something did my arm regenerate from the milk yes my arm did regenerate from milk where i was at uh the losing the arm is from jutsu craft not from this but yeah this is what ashcroft apparently just summons a bolt of lightning and smites your enemies trash how do you feel about it? it did not one shot him unfortunately enough sure here is retorius the walker and I did one shot him, he has over 300 health. So the only reason that Mahito lived is precisely because he has some weird mod resistance or whatever. I do feel bad about using Nanami, but I don't think he has any special resistances, so he should be a good test. Yeah, it does. Wow, it does half of his health. Once again, these anime mods are on an entirely different level. Later. Ah, uh, a holy cross weapon of some kind? Gives me holy power too. Regen 3, resistance 4, cool enough. What do you do if I right click? Fate, right? Definitely fate. It looks absolutely awesome. Demon Sand, probably the counterpart. The one that the evil version of Saber uses. I've watched a single fate anime. Just one. And yeah, Shirodon? Shirodron? 
Strong? Shiro. It does less damage. <laughs> Wait, it actually does less damage. Once again, I don't think it's anything remarkable, but hey. Attack damage is 49 in the sealed state. It does 49 damage in the sealed form? <laughs> I'm definitely, definitely outwashed this. Like, literally no idea whatsoever. Next, Clips. She. What are you looking at me, trash? Clips. Yeah, nothing impressive. It's shift. But you hold it in the offhand, you can unlock its power. It does look really cool. Once again, I just really like all the textures. I'm getting distracted. What do you do, Eclipse? A little bit of damage. That's fine. I can use that to fight stuff. But do you have any... Oh, this is where you shine. So, look. Strength regeneration 3. Fire resistance. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, this definitely is more of an enhancement on yourself. Time for references that they actually do get. First, it's not the anime reference actually it's a book reference from something that hopefully enough it's someday gonna get a good adaptation someday we have a pen that's also a sword yes also known as reptile as it says in the description except when the pen is the sword yeah i should have actually i should have done the line i should have done the entire thing i should have unironically done that and it, it was such an easy setup i, sh I should have just read the entire yeah, I mean, yeah, I showed it, it's cool. Looking. Hopefully, you know, someday we'll get a good adaptation. Anyhow, anyhow, it doesn't give any powers. It's just a cool weapon, 27 damage, I like it. I know that reference, it's, that's all there is to it. But, if I go into water, bonus powers? No way. <gasps> okay, okay, there might be, this, this one might be much better than I anticipated. It actually gives you powers under water. I love that. This mod is amazing. Yeah, there, which means definitely some of the basic weapons I probably just don't know. Because I don't know what their origin is, what they come from. Clearly enough, I don't know how to pull out their true potential. There's another weapon that I actually don't know and I assume it's also from Fate. The Niabo. Ni Niabo? Basically the weapon of the Monkey King. Damage? 17, nothing incredible. Right click? Oh, it can grow. <sighs> It can grow. Ah, uh, seems like this is the maximum length though. That's about the right size, I would say. What does it give me? Slow falling, jump boost. Whoa, that's actually kind of unique. Resistance for and primordial power, whatever that might mean. I feel like primordial power maybe means that there is some condition that I need to unlock in order to unlock the true power. Very possible. It's not anything incredible though, because I mean, I say it's not anything incredible. I really do like it aesthetically. It does exactly what you would expect from this weapon. And maybe it has even more secret powers that I'm just unaware of. But for now, next we're doing Bleach. We have Zangetsu inspired greatsword and Zangetsu himself. There's actually multiple versions, but let's go with the copycat first. Am I getting the move? Yes, I am. I missed it. Horribly. Get to attention. And yes, I don't know that I have the move before even... I, I should have said it now. It feel, I feel fake. Yeah, no. Oh, whoa, whoa. So here's a fun fact. Before the cooldown of the weapon actually happens, if you spam very quickly, like... Oh, mouse, I hate you. Spam... Okay, you can get on it But I think I was able to get three. But yes, point is, you can get multiple. Even though technically it's supposed to... It's supposed to be limited to only a single one. But what about the actual Sangetsu? Does it have anything special? Does a little bit of damage. <laughs> Getsu potential again. Is there some hidden potential that I don't know? Is there a way to activate a Bankai? Oh, does it give you more stats than the other one though? No, just speed. Okay, yeah. And there is no Bankai, unfortunately. Now, from the seven deadly sins, we have Lost Vein. It looks pretty cool. I would say the overall models, once again, I think they've done a pretty decent job. Definitely some are cooler than others, but they do like. And this one actually does have a power in the mod itself, such as... Oh. Oh, that's the power. Bad luck, too. Hidden dark powers. Damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Swashing pieces. Once again, unfortunately enough, anime mobs are terrible. Unfortunate. Nothing incredible, unfortunately enough. But hey, aesthetically, I definitely like it. And let's move on to what is personally one of my favorite weapons in all in general. I really do love this weapon. Divine Axe Rita. Definitely probably connects to the fact that I really like the character. It's a cool idea, even if it's just aesthetic. Wait, am I Thor? Am I just Thor? <laughs> you actually get Thor whenever you use it? Oh, wait. Okay. Love it. Little thing. I stand the pinnacle of all races. Yeah, definitely a true statement. However, by the way, I do believe that this power of the sun, well, not of Rita in particular, I don't wonder where actually Rita will return it. No, no, I think, anyway. I'm thinking about some of the other scenes for Horsemen of the Apocalypse, the continuation. 
I know that the magic itself has come back in the series, which means I really should catch up because I wonder what I'm gonna like. I would love if you actually got any boots, if, if it was midday, so on and so far, if you got slightly weaker during the night. It doesn't seem to be the case. It does have this ability where it creates a lot of small suns and shoots them at things. It does do a decent bit of damage, clearly. Obviously enough, not an insane amount, 47 damage. However, in the same breath, the actual sun attack does... Yeah, more than 500 damage. Definitely an anime mode in its own right. Why isn't he going? Come on, he's the pinnacle of all races. This ability, this weapon, it deserves more respect. But regardless, regardless. I do hope you had fun with the video. There's a video there, extra each other, and for now, bye.